In this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to make a light. Now, this isn't for sale because it's copyright protected, but it's for a gift. So if I'm just giving it away or whatever the case is. So I got a friend, let's just say, is a Kansas City Chiefs fan. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to grab this logo, right? Mouse click. And again, if you're going to get something off the Internet, it's best to come up here to the top, go to tools, go to size and go large because that way the pixels are better. And so let's just say I want let's go with this one here because it's got a background to it. I want to show you how to take that out. So I copied it. Now I'm going to come here, right mouse click and I'm going to hit paste. So I got this image. I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to hit trace image. And I want to hit fade so I can see how good that is. And that's not very good. So I'm going to start moving this around a little bit to see if I can get everything in there. Uh, so it's not showing that black line very well. So I'm going to hit cancel and I'm going to come up here and adjust the image just to see what I can do with this. And I'm going to take contrast up a little bit and we'll take gamma up a little bit and hit OK. Now let's go try to trace that again. And I'm going to fade the image and I'm not getting that line that I need right there. So I'm going to hit sketch trace and move it down this way a little bit. Go back to regular trace and there it is. So I just used regular trace. And that's pretty close to what I want, except it's missing some stuff. So one thing you can do, you can hit OK, right? And just arrow it over. And now notice I'm missing part of that C right there and part of the K. So this time I'm going to go back in and trace it again and see if I can get those uh, in there better. And there I got the C a little bit better and the K. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and move this over. So you can kind of see how you can manipulate and add on to it. But this isn't a good logo for me. So I'm going to hit delete. Alt tab. It takes me back to my screen here. And we're going to use this one instead. Right mouse click. Copy image. Alt tab. Right mouse click. Paste the image. Right mouse click. Trace the image. Hit OK. And that's a much better one. Delete. Now I got these dots I don't want. So click on it. And like I showed you in a previous video, ungroup. And you can come here like this. Highlight those and delete them. Highlight those. If you want to highlight everything real quick, instead of going like this and trying to get everything in there, you just go like that and you got everything highlighted. All right. So I want to make a light out of this. So I want to group this. And now I want to outline it. So... When I do lights, I usually use millimeters uh, and 212 is pretty good size light. I usually go up to 300, but let's just say this is what we want. So now I'm going to outline it. So I click this button here and I want outwards and that's pretty close to what I won't want right there. Hit OK. Now I'm going to click this and we'll arrow it down because all I want is to outline. I don't want all that other stuff. So I'm going to click that and right mouse click, ungroup it. Now I'm going to click that line. I'm going to make it red because that's what I'm going to cut. You can cut any color you want. Or you just got to go over and change it on the right hand side of the screen there. Now I want to erase that. So instead of trying to do this, I just go like this and hit delete. Now I've got my line. It's ready to go. Now, de depending on what size base you're using, like, uh, Let's say it's 78, or let's say it's, uh, yeah, 78.6 millimeters across using your calipers. So you come here and you simply draw a rectangle, come up to the top, make sure you undo the padlock. We'll do 78.6 millimeters, and we'll say it's uh, 16 inches in depth, or I'm sorry, 16 millimeters in depth. Hit enter. Now what I want to do is I want to center this underneath the KC logo. So I click here and I want to group all that right mouse. Because if I don't group it 
and I click on here and I click here and I hit center or control Z or if I hit the line vertically it's not moving the whole thing so I can either highlight all that and do it or the easiest way is just right mouse click group it click here now I want to go up right here and I will hit align vertically and so that's the vertical center now I want to arrow this up and notice how it's moving in like increments of three millimeters if I hold my control key down it's a lot finer and that's what I'm going to do now I've got a little bit of an issue here because I want to keep the node on the corners of my rectangle. So what I can do is I can right mouse click ungroup, click the outline, go to my node editor, and it's got a lot of nodes. Now I highlight all these nodes right here and I don't hit delete because if I hit delete, watch what happens. It takes everything away. Control Z. I want to highlight those and hit D key, the letter D. Now I can come here and grab this and pull it in just like that. And I go back to my arrow, click both of those and hit merge. Now what I can do is go back to my node editor and I do not want to erase the corner nodes at all. So I'm going to come here and erase all of these D and I'm going to come here and erase all of these D. But that doesn't look that doesn't look that good. So I'm going to go ahead and delete some more of these nodes where I've got a gradual, um, a gradual feed into that logo, and I could bend that out if I want, or I could just take out some more. And I think I'm just going to bend it out a little bit, just kind of following the outline there, and we're ready to go. So when I want to uh, print this you don't want any masking on the back uh, like my plexiglass comes with masking on the front and back so if i wanted to paint this i would do just like this i would highlight that and i wouldn't have that i just have the outline of this and let's say i just wanted to paint the logo then what i would do is i'd make everything align just like this and then what it will do is it'll cut these lines out on the masking and i'll run it at like 250 at uh uh 40 speed and it just makes an etching that you can peel off and paint the colors that you want but we're making a light here so what i want to do is i want the fill and i want a line to cut now on my laser i have an 80 watt laser and on my laser when i cut i cut acrylic anywhere between 10 and 20 speed so i'll pick 15. And the power I always use for cutting, whether it's plywood or acrylic, is 32 and 32, just like that. Now, when it comes to fill, what I found out about fill is this. If I come up here right now and I click, how long is this going to take? It says it's going to take an hour and 42 minutes. Well, let me show you the reason why. So I close this and I double click on this fill and it says lines per inch interval. Uh, 0.21 and usually what I use is 0.2 um, so wonder what's causing it to take so long and probably it's right there see that speed so whenever I run a fill on a light or anything like that I run it between like 200 and 400 so we'll go 275 right and I go really low power, seven power, just like that. And again, if you if you use an interval of like 1.1, it's going to burn your acrylic. You got to use toothpaste or whatever you use to take that off. This does not burn acrylic. When you run it at 0.2 like that and at a uh, power of seven, it does not you know, do anything but run a little water over. It takes the dust off and that's it. Now, what did I do? I have to flip this. So I highlight it and I flip it because you want to do it in reverse. You want to engrave the back of the acrylic and then the front be a nice smooth piece. And that's ready to go. All I got to do is go out there, run it, and then peel the front of the masking off and insert it into the base. And let's see how long it takes to do this. It takes 7 minutes and 40 seconds to run this. 
Hope that helps you out. If you got any questions, let me know. And uh, I'll come up with something else to show.